Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with your mother. I'm like, hmm, Melissa mom. <laughs> she calls me Melissa mom. I do. Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is, well, what I'm going to be doing is a bronzy smoky eye on my mother. Oh, I'm so excited. I do, I don't know if you guys know, but I do my mom's hair and makeup a lot. Like I did her hair today. It kind of is not good anymore, but. Well, I lay down a little bit. Yeah, but basically, I'm just gonna show you guys how I usually do her makeup if we're going to like an event or something. So, yeah. She does makeup much better than me. Okay, Brad. I'm using my mother's makeup because that's what works best for her. Look at my new, my new case I just got, it's so cute. Okay. Sorry, just had to say. This is the Dior. It's like for wrinkles. Age defying skincare. I went and saw that guy. Um, it was so cool. It was um, okay. Bobby Newberry's brother. I did know. my makeup. He's so cute. That's so funny. I know. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that all over her face. Mm, doesn't it smell good? Yeah, it smells very good. It makes me young. See, I'm like 20 now. <laughs> wow! Look, she just That's got so young. It's awesome. Okay, now I'm using the Dior moisturizer. Probably a moisturizer for old ladies, I don't know. You're not an old lady though. No, I'm not. I mean, you're just... I'm in my 20s in my mind. I feel better now than I ever have. Well, that's good. <laughs> but I am getting some gray hairs in my eyebrows. I know, I hate it. Taking the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. And eye cream is very important, right? Oh, Especially yeah. for ladies my mother's age. <laughs> ladies that are in their 20s. <laughs> You're not in your 20s. She's 40. Yeah. And you kind of just want to pat this in, because if you rub harshly, you'll create more wrinkles. Wow. So don't rub really hard when you do it. I do need a little bit of Botox soon. No, no, you don't. You know what? You should come and you should learn how to do it. And then give you Botox? Oh, that'd be so awesome. I'd be so addicted. I'd be like this. Yeah, Hello, you, Anna, good morning. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to walk. Every day I'd be like, wait, I need a little here. I need a little shot here. I need yeah. Here. All my friends would be lining up. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but Dior is my mom's favorite makeup line. I love that air flash. Okay. My favorite. Yeah. I'm taking the air flash Dior foundation in 200, I think. The shade 205. Oh, it's a new shade. Yep. And I'm using this MAC 170 brush. And I'm just going to spray it directly onto the brush because it gets a little messy when you spray it straight to your face. Just look front. And I'm just going to buff that into her skin. It literally is my favorite. I tried to use that Armani. Uh huh. And I think it's for more younger skin. This is more. This is like good coverage, you know? Yeah, it's good coverage for me. I like doing your makeup. I love when you do my makeup because I look so much better. I'm good at highlighting, aren't I, Maddie? Sure. <laughs> she puts a lot of highlighter on. Shocker, now we're using a Dior. <laughs> product. This is the Flash Luminizer and this is like a Radiance Booster Pen. I, I really like it. I just got this and it's, it's, it's really nice. It brightens up her eyes a lot. Yeah, it really is. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit and also I'm doing a little more than I typically would because this is like more of a glam look. The best thing about this concealer mm -hmm. Is it's like not even heavy at all. Mm. It's really lightweight, you know? Oh, cool. Doesn't it feel that way? Like it mm -hmm. doesn't feel like you have a lot on? I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup on when I put my Dior stuff on. So now I'm gonna be taking the Sephora brush and the Laura Mercier translucent powder, and I'm just going to set all the places where I put the concealer. And then for her nose, I have to put a little more I'm just gonna let her nose bake. Do you know what baking means? No. You don't? I bake a cake and I bake cookies. I don't know how to bake my face. Oh my lord. I don't cook, but I do bake. Okay, so now she looks like a pale ghost. I turned the lighting down a little bit. I think that's a little better. She doesn't look like a ghost anymore. 
Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with the beauty blender and I'm going to like press the powder in her nose into her skin because for some reason her nose is always really red. Now I'm going to go in with this Chanel bronzer and this is the Soleil Tan de Chanel. I think that's how you say it. And you can tell that my mom doesn't really use it that much. I use it every day. Oh, well, you don't use it that light. I don't really Very light-handed because look how beautiful. It's like so swirly yeah. and pretty. Mine I'm is not afraid like... to use it that hard. <laughs> you're very hard on me and you'll say like, oh my goodness, you did it wrong. I'm just going to lightly bronze up the face. I don't want to do too much. Okay, turn that way a little bit. Anyway. So I'm just going to lightly brush on the areas that I want to kind of shade her face. Look, see how beautiful it's just like really luminous and pretty. I think it's really important to make sure you do the steps that we did in the beginning like the moisturizer and everything because then it gives you such a good base for the rest of your face and it doesn't look cakey. <laughs> and then I'm bringing it up on her temples. Your hair is crazy. Crazy hair. Okay. There. So, that's that. I think it's good to do cream products on my mom because when you start to, you know, get a little older, if you put too many powders on your face, you look cakey. So, mm. it's very important. I should try cream on my eyes. Mm, yeah, you could. This is the Chanel blush. And this is the shade Rose Petal. I'm just gonna put this on the apple of her cheeks. Just turn. This always is really nice. This gives really pretty rosiness to her cheeks. That's my favorite. My mom always loves putting a lot of blush on. Mm -hmm. I'm not using her highlighter today. I'm gonna use the Becca Jaclyn Hill uh, Champagne Pop highlighter. And as you can tell, it's like literally basically gone, but... Oh, you need to get more. I'm just going to put this... Woohoo! I'm going to put this on the high points of her cheek. Let me see. Show it turn that way. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going out in the town. Yeah, where are you going to go after this? Uh, Watch TV? Eat my Postmates? Because <laughs> it should be here by then. And then just a little on the nose, but I don't want to take away the hard work that I did. I know. And this is my mom's favorite part, the Cupid's bow. She laughs every time. Stop! I like the part. Now I'm going to be doing her eyes. Oh, you're so good at this. And you do it so quickly, too. Yeah, it's pretty quick. First, I'm going to do her eyebrows. So I'm taking the Bobbi Brown... Um, I have a couple of eyebrow things in there. Yeah, I like this one though. Yeah, I like this it. is the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde. My mom doesn't have very thick eyebrows. And they're very light. So I'm not gonna make them any thicker. I'm just gonna kind of fill in the yeah. sparse areas. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. And this stuff, I understand why my mom might, might not be the biggest fan of it, only because it just really glues your eyebrows. Yeah. So I'm just going to do like a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. I don't have crazy eyebrows. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going back in with the concealer. Keep your eyes closed. And this is going to act as the eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to go back in with the beauty blender. Turn that way. Now I'm just setting her eyes with that Laura Mercier translucent powder again. Oh, I didn't know you did that. Uh huh. This is the Smashbox Full Cover Full Exposure Palette, and I'm using this Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, and I'm just gonna like kind of just very like carefree. Just kind of blend this all over the lid and kind of through the crease. And this is just going to be the transition color. And I'm all, this is a really simple eye look. And it looks more complicated than it is. 
but it only takes about three colors. Okay, now I'm going in with this color first, which is a beautiful shade. And I'm just using the brush that comes in the palette. You can give me Malibu. And I just wet the brush a little bit. And I'm just gonna place this all over her lid. And this is the most beautiful shade. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna go back in with that brush and just blend everything out so it looks seamless. And then I'm gonna go in with that lighter shade right there. And I'm just gonna put this more towards the inner corner. Let's kind of bring it there, open. Pretty, pretty. The exact same thing. This is more of like a bronzy than like a bronzy smoky eye, you know? Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go in with this MAC 212 brush and I'm gonna be mixing the shimmery and matte darkest brown. I'm just liking the brush a little bit. I wouldn't do this with anyone else unless they're my friends or family, so. Well, you know, I think. Okay, close. And I'm just gonna really lightly just kind of smoke out the lash line. And then it kind of adds a little more. And I'm just gonna slightly wing it out just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back in with that transition color and I'm just gonna put it on the lower lash line. We don't want it to be too heavy down there. And then doing a little back with that dark brown and just going super tight to the lash line. Now I'm gonna go in with this uh, Clinique because that's the only mascara I can use. My mom can only use the Clinique mascara because any other mascara will like run down your face, right? Smudges because I don't know because I must play with my eyes or something. Mm -hmm. I just ordered two of them from and I'm getting it overnighted for tomorrow because <laughs> it's dry, almost dry. So this is her eyes open. Oh, my belly just growled. Yeah, my eyes look so good. I'm gonna finish this off with a gloss because she, my mom always does glosses and I think they look really pretty. This is the Lucy B's mm -hmm. um, lip gloss and the shade Nudie. Oh, I love it, it's one of my favorites. Sometimes I mix that one with that other one. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do that. This is so pretty because it's like your lip, it's the actual color uh -huh. of your real lips. Rub. This is this shade Cocoa Berry. Glenn got me all these. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this just to run over top to make it slightly darker. So I'm just going to do a couple spritz. <laughs> Look at your hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty natural but like kind of dewy and glowy bronzy look. Uh, this will definitely not be the last time I'm doing my mom's makeup on my channel. I think that next time we'll go for like a Kardashian look. Yeah. Like we'll do a really intense, because my mom's always wanted to look. Yeah, I always wanted to see what that makeup looked like on me. Yeah. And I'll even show you my big Kardashian butt, which I don't have anymore, so you get it. <laughs> and my mom has an Instagram. So I'm going to link it in the description below. And you should go follow her if you're not already. Because she oh. posts pretty funny pictures sometimes. Thanks. Is there anything you would like to say? No. Yeah. But I'm excited that you did my makeup on camera. Because you do my makeup probably two or three times a week. Yeah, that's true. Which is and you do my hair probably two yeah. or three times a week. I actually go get my hair done. And then I come home and I say, Maddie, can you please fix it? It's really yeah. sad. It's really funny that I always have to fix her hair. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! Bye. <laughs> that was good! That was so good.